Let's talk business and specifically money. Today we are answering your most asked question. How much revenue can you make being an owner operator in the UK? Hi guys, my name is Agnes and this is my husband, Josh. And we are running a transport business. So if you are in a transport business or thinking of starting one, you might want to watch this first. But before we start, let's talk about briefly why we've been talking to you about this. I've been in transport industry for over 15 years as a driver and uh, from past two years, I've had decided to start my own business. Uh, over the years, I've learned a lot about the transport industry. So I've decided to take the information and uh, put it into use and have my own business. In August 2020, we obtained the operator's license and we started our own business. If you wanted to hear more about this, we have a link in the description below and you can watch the whole story from beginning to end. I have also gained my CPC transport manager qualification because of which I am now acting as an internal transport manager and helping my husband in a business. At the beginning of the business, it was a rough ride. It was a bit of a struggle, but we stood strong and uh, plowed through on. And now as the time went by, things it has become a little bit easier. During the year, there's ups and downs that you must be very careful. Now, no one will tell you about this when you start your business, but you have to be prepared uh, financially as well as mentally. The costs are very high and it's a very stressful business. Nevertheless, it's a feasible, a scalable business if you have your priorities right and the right frame of mind to run it. So let's talk money. Remember, we are not talking profits today, but the turnover or otherwise known as sales, which is the money before deducting your costs and taxes. So how much money do we actually generate every month? Well, it depends month to month. During January and February, it's pretty quiet. Uh, February or Chinese New Year, so transport industry is usually is very quiet. Uh, March, the work starts to pick up, but this year it hasn't really picked up yet. Uh, we are still kind of in a slow season. In April all the way to December, the work is quite busy. So during April to December, you average about £15,000 per truck. Now, there are some months, uh, probably near Christmas, when it gets really busy and you can make the fifteen to £20,000 per truck. Uh, but be, be prepared um, that it's not always the case and there will be quite months where you generate maybe £10,000 per truck. Yeah, and we noticed that last year, so that was at the very beginning of our business, when we have very little feedback and very little contacts, we were making much less than that. That's correct, yeah. So at the beginning, we were pretty much um, break even and it was a struggle. So customers will, you know, uh, take, take that as an advantage that uh, you are a new operator and they will squeeze give you, you. Yeah, they will, they, will, they will squeeze you. Yeah, that's right, yeah. During Jan and Feb, you'll be lucky to break even sometimes. Again, we did discuss costs. And if you wanted to find out, watch the video that I will link in the description below. We are quite small business at this point. So there are advantage and disadvantage of being a small business as well as being a large business. In our case, during the time of January, February, when it's quiet, there's not much work. We can actually afford to park up our trucks and operate on minimum days and, and you kind of go by. But if you're a large fleet of 10 or 15 trucks uh, during the January, February, your costs can be very high. So you might not have all the trucks out or have very few, very little business. You will have to pay your drivers as well as a parking cost and any other overheads. So uh, larger fleets, it's very difficult time uh, during January and February. But again, during the busy time, they can make up the losses. And uh, one more thing we wanted to mention is that we did mention to you guys that we're using haulage exchange, which previously worked really, really well for us. And we never had struggled to find the work. At the beginning um, of our business, we were relying on a haulage exchange as well as um, Amazon. Due to the time we came in, it was a good time because the coronavirus or work was quite re readily re available on Amazon as well as exchange. This year, the situation is quite different. Now, if someone's thinking to starting or someone has started during the January and February this year, and uh, they will struggle very much. We haven't done a single day of work on exchange this year. So January, February and coming into March, not a single shift on exchange. Now we just renewed a license and paid almost two thousand um, pounds. Quite we disappointed, are kind of yeah. So we're regretting it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's quite. To be honest, just throw the money in the bin because um, there is nothing on exchange, and Amazon is paying peanuts at the moment. You know, hundred pound uh, a job, which is not viable. You, you know, after paying your driver, current rate is about two hundred pounds. Just makes no you sense just, to you take a job. Pick, yeah. So in a sense, mm -hmm. we have some contracts or some contacts that actually you know give us some work here and there. So we're actually going by, and the work is picking up. But uh, yeah, don't rely on Exchange or Amazon. Don't come into in this industry you thinking you're gonna pick up work on Exchange or Amazon. So if you're new, wait until busy time. So Exchange usually picks up March, but it's not this this year. So it's gonna be probably April, May. So start your business in April, May when you know there is work available, and then hopefully the time of December you will be prepared 
to not have uh, work for January and February so you can cover the costs. Yes, just one thing that we wanted to mention, guys. If you are new to the business, if you're just about to start and you don't know where to start, you don't know what track to get, or you don't know how to even apply for the license, we're here to help you. Josh and I offer a consultation face-to-face over the Zoom or Teams meeting. And if you wanted to help, we are happy to help you and mentor you through it. We have got some clients already that are very happy with our service. And if you guys wanted to reach out, it's just a phone call or email away. All the details are provided in the description below. Yeah, again, yeah, we are here to help you guys out. Genuinely, um, when I started my business, it was an uphill struggle. Um, some of the people I know, you know, even friends, um, did not want to help um, at all. So it was real struggle for me. And uh, I would like to kind of share my experience with everyone. You know, I think everyone who is willing to do take the risk and, and do this business, you know, should have a right opportunity and uh, right information. And Josh really has so much knowledge in this industry that I do believe that whoever is starting, if you have not been in the industry or you just don't know what to do, it is really so important to have that mentoring to begin with so that you don't make yourself mistakes, but you have somebody to follow on or to just guide you through the process. Yeah, we learn from our mistakes. Yes. <laughs> so that'll be it, guys. I hope you guys find this informative. And if you did, please don't forget to like it, comment, share, and we hope to see you soon. And good luck. And good luck. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. -bye.